Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Enigma and you're watching Enigma Inc. So let's do Scorpio for November 2021. This is going to be a quick reading. So this may or may not resonate since it is not your personal reading. It's just a general reading. However, many messages that will come across that can help you grow spiritually and get answers that you were looking for. So let's move ahead towards your reading Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Before that, do not forget to follow me on Instagram for monthly horoscopes, November horoscopes and daily horoscopes. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Scorpio. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Why are you feeling very stuck about something? Okay. Okay, someone feels like you've left them out in the cold and that you're looking for options, Scorpio. This is very clear that you've decided to let go of something that's not working in your favor because it uh, made you insecure, it made you confused, it made you skeptical of this person and you've been waiting for someone but this was not happening. So you decided to just let it go and focus on your growth, focus on your money, focus on abundance, focus on self. And I feel like new opportunities rising if you travel more. So traveling is indicated, it is going to help you. Um, go to a next level where you currently are. So traveling is must and I feel like some kind of risk you're avoiding you should take. Now I do see traveling definitely is there. Okay, you're going to meet also someone new. There's a very possible chance. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. <clears throat> someone with a lot of fire and passion, enthusiasm will uh, hit you and uh, you guys are going to get along very much. And I feel like this is going to happen not so quickly. No, so November, you do, you do have to have a lot of patience because I do see some things may be taking um, a lot of your time. You may need to slow down a bit, stop expecting too much too fast. That's the um, uh, tagline for you for Scorpions for the month of November. Stop expecting too much too fast. Everything's going to happen definitely, but at the right time, whatever you're looking for. I see you meeting your person. I feel like someone that you already know or someone new. Could be anybody, but this is someone who is at equal page as you are. This person is earning as much as you are earning. This person is independent as much as you are. You guys are going to, you know, um, you guys are like uh, leaders in your own places. So, Scorpio, this is your card. I feel like you're right now very confused, anxious. You don't know what's happening in your life. You're letting things go, but deep inside, you're still connected through emotions, through heart. So, you don't know what to do. So, somewhere you're confused about what should you do, what activity should I do, what hobby should I choose, or um, whether should I trust this person or not. Or you may be, uh, you know, your heart is thinking, thinking about something. You feel like this is not in your favor. No, it's actually working for your highest good. But you just have to have patience. So here with the king and queen of pentacles, you're going to meet the person, okay, that you're meant to meet. This is a fated connection, okay. This is a soulmate bond, most closely soulmate bond. But all soulmates do not get married and all soulmates do not have a happy outcome so it could be any soulmate karmic twin anything but i do see like you guys are going to gel so well with each other okay so king and queen you are going to meet your other half in or you're preparing to meet your other half from november onwards virgo taurus capricorn very rich okay or someone who's an entrepreneur someone who is mature intelligent wise and someone who has a pet as well okay or you may be having a pet sorry about that so your souls i feel like you have to cut a situation with someone you have to cut cords with someone and it's gonna hurt you really really bad but then your heart will sink but then you have to think things in a different light because then there is someone that god is preparing to send to you 
and definitely this is going to be a obsessive connection i feel like this is connection is going to be full of love but there will be a lot of obsession in a good way not in a bad way. a person will be highly obsessed with you capricorn energy this is not a bad person this is just someone who's possessive in a good way okay who's gonna make you feel like you're not alone okay so ace of cups is definitely a strong sensitive emotional bond happening it's gonna happen naturally it's not gonna happen when you wait when you show your back when you focus on yourself that's when these things are going to come into your life naturally and you're going to embrace it and stop focusing on what is not meant for you what is not happening in your favor ace of cups is telling me a new beginning in love and scorpio pisces cancer most probably very earthy very grounded connection this person will ground you a lot if you're too uh, you know high in life somewhere you need some sort of grounding for you to feel healthy <clears throat> your root chakra needs to be more stronger so this person will help you in that so a lot of grounding will happen in this connection and i do see you guys will make a lot of money scorpio and i do see a definite solid foundation being laid about your career you will have a name of yourself so some kind of a um, success story you're going to make and people are going to be appreciating you for who you are so your life is going to change from november onwards things are going to turn around in your favor a lot of money go gonna come and you're gonna feel on the top of the world so the wheel is turning into your favor things are becoming more and more smooth for you to process and to achieve <clears throat> Okay, so this person is someone who is going to be like a uh, uh, damsel in distress kind of situation. If you are in, this person is going to help you come out of it. You know, they always want to be uh, your savior. Even though you're happy, you're chirpy, you're just, you don't want anybody. But this person always want to feel like they saved you or they kind of helped you come out of something. So they always want to be of some help to you. All right, so this person could be an Aries person, okay, very sensitive, yet very passionate, very fiery, very obsessive. Somewhere they would want you to listen to them over vice versa situation. So this is a kind of a person who's like an alpha, okay, this is an alpha person. And they would not like it when you're upset. So that is, that's going to bother them and they're going to hit some people. If anybody comes and hurt you, they're going to hit that person. Oh, that's something I love. All right, so let's see your article messages. <clears throat> love messages from the article cards, please. This could be an older person, someone who's a boss of something, the emperor, okay, a very high position person. This person uh, have seen you hurting, okay, or they may have hurt you in the past if this is not the new one. But then someone is definitely going to come and be acting like a savior of your life. So religion may be different. Maybe this person is coming from a very different background. Okay. Very soon. So it's not going to take much time. Just focus on your work and do your own thing. You need to release someone. See, as I told you, three of hearts, three of swords was telling me that you need to release someone in order to be with someone that is meant to be in your life. So you're going to meet someone who's a fated lover fate is going to uh, bring this person to you flirt so yeah, i do see uh, you guys will love flirting with each other it's gonna be a lot of teasing happening to and fro passion is going to be the key of this love life Keep an open mind. So you need to be a bit positive because maybe certain things about this person, about you guys, where you're coming from, may not match. Some people may not agree to this. So you have to stick to this person still. Okay. And stay positive because things in the end is going to show positive results. Let's see the blockages, possible blockages that you need to be careful of. Stay in peace. As I told you, you need to be um, having patience. A lot of patience is required because the more you're at patience and peace, things are going to roll on its own. So stop hurrying and maintain your self-confidence because wherever you feel anxious or worried like this nine of swords, you're going to meet failure. So we need to avoid failure. So for that, you need to still have that self-confidence. Otherwise, you may face this and don't be too caught up in um, negativity. 
Okay. <clears throat> now let's see. You can also buy an uh, energy circle from me which can help you manifest these things which are very, very uh, cheap in price and I'm going to create it personally for your uh, improvement, certain areas of your life. So Aries person is thinking about commitment with you. Taurus, Taurus person is a little moody, a little confused, so they're keeping some secrets, so give them some space. Gemini is making a decision regarding reaching out, although they're just watching you a lot. Cancer, Cancer is making a decision of some kind. Maybe they have options, but they're going to choose you. Leo feels rejected, so you need to reach out to the Leo. Virgo wants to keep it casual. I feel like this is a non-committal young energy. Libra, Libra is seeing you like a soulmate. They want to be with you forever, so they're coming soon with you. Scorpio is in love, or oh, you're the one. Okay. So there's a love offer coming from another Scorpio. Sagittarius is going to make a move. They want to unite with you and have family. At least reunite. Capricorn is kind of insecure and decisive and do not know how to approach this. Aquarius is ready for a solid commitment, like a solid foundation. I see pregnancy from this person as well. Pisces is kind of stuck. They don't know whether they should uh, work on this connection or they just should leave it the way it was. So yeah, that's about it, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this reading. And if you did, do not forget to comment down below. Let me know how. And like this video. Subscribe to my channel. Share it. Uh, follow me on Instagram. Bye.